Welcome everybody to Gimme Facts. The first thing that probably comes to your mind when I say Egypt is probably Brendan Fraser rescuing a damsel in distress from rotting mummies. No, but we're not covering that today in our video. We're taking a look at the top 5 strange things you did not know about ancient Egypt. Consider subscribing to the channel if you find this video interesting. The bandage of a mummy, when unwrapped, can stretch up to a mile or 1.6 kilometers. This was a tricky process and usually took one to two weeks. The linen for the bandage would be roughly 4,000 square feet or 372 square meters and brought in by the family members and the embalmers would make strips of 3 to 8 inches long. But also, did you know that the South American culture was the first to perform mummification 2,000 years prior to the Egyptians? Contrary to the popular belief that the Great Pyramid of Giza was built by slaves, recent tomb discoveries that are 4,000 years old indicate that they were actually built by salaried individuals. They had a diet containing meat, bread, and other assorted fruits, and very acceptable living conditions. It is estimated that there were 5,000 permanent and 20,000 temporary salaried employees who constructed the tetrahedron Wonder of the World. There were numerous ancient Egyptian rulers, but the most prominent of them all was King Tutankhamun. This might surprise you, but King Tutankhamun did not accomplish major milestones during his leadership. He is famous today primarily because of his discovery of his tomb in 1922 by Howard Carter. It is believed he took the throne after his father died at a young age of 8 years and ruled till he was 20 when he was killed. That brings us to the question of how he actually died. Various theories have been speculated. One of them is that he was killed by a hippopotamus. This is derived from the fact that the mummification indicated crushing injury to the chest and a pharaoh's fondness of hippo hunting back in those days. I'm sure you're all aware of another architectural icon, the Sphinx. At 66 feet high, 240 feet long, and 62 feet wide, it has a body of a lion and a head of a human. Egyptologists believe that the facial features it bears is similar to the pharaoh Khafre. But here is a characteristic of this monument that you probably haven't heard of. A distinctive astronomical phenomenon occurs during the equinox and summer solstice when the sun directly sets in between the great pyramids and on the shoulder of the sphinx, thus exposing it to sunlight longer, uh, as we know that days and nights are equal duration during this period. Another well-known fact is that cats like to bask in the sun. This contradicts the theory that ancient Egyptians just found a random rock lying around and carved a creature out of it. Ancient Egyptians had an affinity for animals. 
Everything from cats to crocodiles and even baboons. Yes, you heard that right, baboons. They were associated with the god Thoth, perhaps because of how intelligent they were. Although they were popular throughout Egypt, they are not indigenous, but speculated to have been imported from Nubia, which is modern-day Sudan. These primates played a very complementary role in the lives of ancient Egyptians. They helped harvest fruits, they even danced for them, and even catch criminals. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing as we are a growing channel and your support is imperative. Oh, and uh, before I end the video, leave it down in the comments what the Easter egg was. <laughs> See you in another video.